Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Juliana and in today's video I'm going to talk about my February wrap-up. So, this month I read only two books. That's, for me that's a victory because last month I was, was only able to read one. This year is a bit slow. I began the year with high expectations for my readings, but they, they aren't working. I'm having trouble to follow a schedule of reading and it's becoming a bit difficult to, to read more than one to two books a month. This is only the second month of the year, but I know that that would, would be difficult. I started with many, with many, no, with some reading, uh, joint readings and I thought that I, was, I would be able to, you know, get involved and follow the schedule but it's, <laughs> I'm finding out that that's really hard. I was supposed to have finished Anna Karnina this month, this past month, February, and I wasn't able to. I'm still reading it and I have a, a chunk still to read. So, you know, I'm doing what I can and that's all what we ask for. So, I'm trying and that's what counts and that is what counts. So, this month I read Marie Antoinette, I read, no, I finished Marie Antoinette by Stefan Zweig. This is a book that I started reading in January. This was a project that was a joint reading with Christian Assunção, that's a Brazilian booktuber. <coughs> and I'm planning to after this one, I'm planning to read one. I'm planning to read one, uh, more, one more biography of Marie Antoinette, but this time by Antonio Fraser. I leave the cover here, uh, and then I'm uh, planning to do a joint video of the two books. Uh, where I'll be talking about the history of Marie Antoinette and what I thought about the, the books. But I'm not uh, reading it yet, so that will be some time till the video come out. So I'm not going to elongate a lot about this one. I'm not going to elongate a lot. I'm not going to say nothing, that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to say nothing about this book just want you to know that I read it and I really enjoyed it. I would highly recommend you to pick up this. Stefan Zweig is an author that I'm really curious to know more and to know more of his work. I have here The World of Yesterday that is an autobiography by the author and I'm not going to read that in the near future because I have my pile to be read huge right now i'm reading a lot of books so i'm not going to read that right now but yeah this one i really enjoyed then the other book that i read was mary riley by valerie martin this one i have a video up about it it was the video that came out last week after my absence of two weeks. So I really, I enjoyed this one. It wasn't a um, book that I loved because I compared, in the video that I made, I compared with the movie that, that is available. That's a movie from uh, 1996, so that's an old one. Not so old, but you know, you know what I mean. Comparing the book and the movie, I enjoyed more the movie because I think that's, that has more depth 
that has more dialogues between the main characters. So that brings more to the story and brings more of an emotional perspective. But overall, what this is about? This is about a maid who works in a, a house of a medic, an investigative, uh, investigative medic. And he does many experiences in his laboratory. He has a laboratory at his home. And one day that doctor uh, announces to the servant that he's going to um, accommodate uh, an assistant and all in the house become really curious to know this assistant and all that come across with him say that he's very strange that he's um, scary and a strange character and later we find out that he's quite violent as well so Mary that's our main character Mary Riley, as the title says. Mary doesn't understand why the doctor um, employed this type of assistant. And something, and the doctor asks her to do some tasks for him, like going to a brothel to, to um, deliver a letter. Uh, she becomes really suspicious and really doubtful of what is going on. And this is a book based on another book, The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde by Robert Louis Stevenson. You have to read it to understand it. That's the main point I'm making. Because it's better if you don't know anything. Because in, on Wikipedia, I went and see it, and there is a main, a huge spoiler on it. So please don't go see anything about the book. Just go of what I say and read the book if you want to know what the spoiler I'm talking about. Because if you know, that ruins the story for you. So, uh, as I've said, I enjoyed the book. It's interesting. This is entries of her diary. So, it's the, her daily life, the tasks that she has to make, the conversations that she has with Dr. Jekyll, that's our medic, uh, and the conversations she also has with Mr. Hyde. But the point I'm making is, in the movie, she has a lot more conversations with Mr. Hyde, and they are very much uh, intense. So, in the book, we lack that. It's like something is missing. You know, as I saw the movie first, I have in my memory a lot of scenes in the movie and I was expecting to see them in the book and that didn't happen. So I was a bit disappointed. So that's why I say that I don't love, I don't love the book. But still, if you don't know the story at all, Please read The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde first, then read this book, then see the movie. It's really worth it. Trust me, that's a movie with Julia Roberts as Mary Riley and um, John Malkovich as Dr. Jekyll and also Mr. Hyde. That's wonderful. I love the movie. That's all I can say. So go watch it. And now for the books that I'm currently reading, I'm going to uh, show here the books that I already talked about in previous videos. You are seeing the covers of the books. I'm not going to say them again because I'm going to repeat myself and that's not a need for it. So these are the books that I can say that are in standby because I didn't pick them in this this month so I can't say they are abandoned because I'm intend to read them but they are on standby so the books that I'm now currently reading at this moment are Dangerous Liaisons by Charlotte Laclos 
This is a book that is also a movie. If you can see, this is a book, uh, movie with John my my I John Malkovich and Michelle Pfeiffer and uh, Gwen Close. I think that's her name. Let me see. Gwen Close. That's her name. I love that movie. So I was really curious to um, see how the book was. And this is a book that is written in letters. So this is an epistolary novel. And I'm, I'm on page 74 and I'm really enjoying it. This is a um, very gossip and very mischievous and uh, strategic book because we have here many conspirations and malabarisms. Is that how we say it? I don't know. But we have here many people conjecturing about other people and making plans and strategic plans to persuade and manipulate other people. So it's an intense, bo a intense book, but I'm really enjoying it. And this is one book that I have in my uh, list of 12 books for 12 months for the year of 2022. This will be my March reading. So I'm planning to read a chunk every day and make a, vi a video at the end of this month. Then I'm reading The Brothers Karamazov by Fyodor Dostoevsky. So this is a book about three brothers and their father. Uh, I'm at the beginning still. I'm on page 150 uh, and I, I don't know if I'm liking it, to be honest. This book is a bit strange. It has many conversations and many dialogues about um, discussions between characters, about politics, about morals, about uh, family. Um, this has many discussions between characters and misunderstandings. And I don't know if I'm liking it. I'm not going to abandon it. I'm doing this reading in a joint reading again. <laughs> I like very much to participate in this type of reading. And this is a joint reading with Christian Assunção as well. He's a Brazilian booktuber. Go and watch his Christian Assunção in YouTube and Christian Assunção in Instagram. I think I'm right. So if you are interested, if you speak Portuguese, go check it out his uh, social media. I think you will enjoy it very much. And so this is, I'm still in the beginning. So, you know, I think we have, I have to warm up to the book. So you, we will see how the next few chapters will be. Then I'm also reading one by Fyodor Dostoevsky, The Gambler. This is a, I don't know how this is uh, categorized. I don't know if this is a novella. I'm not sure, so don't quote me on that. But I'm enjoying it. It's not a, you know, wow book or anything, but I'm enjoying the story. I'm not going to say anything about the book because I'm planning to do a video about it. So that will be something for that video. If you want, if you are curious, uh, wait for the video to come out. But I'm enjoying it. It's not something spectacular, but you know, it's cool. 
Then, as I said before, I'm reading Anna Karenina by Leo Tolstoy. This is a book that I'm having a bitter, a hot and cold perspective about it because I'm enjoying the plot. I think it's quite intricate and interesting, but at the same time there are there are parts that for me are a bit boring and I think they are I think there are parts that are dragging a lot. I'm indecisive if I'm really liking the story or not. There are characters here that I really enjoy, but there are some that oh, it <laughs> that you know you don't agree with some things that they do so I think that's positive we can say that so it's bringing some emotions so yeah that's good um, but I don't know I'm going to finish it and then I'll do a, also a video about it and then we'll discuss this and then I'm reading Life and Fate by Vasily Grossman. This is a book that I read the preface and I read the first... Um, it, it's not even a chapter, it's like... I don't know how to say it, so as you can see that's, that has a number one here. That's part one, number one. And I read till this part, number two, so I read a page from the book. So that's really in the beginning, but just for the preface, I really enjoyed it. It talks about the history of this book, how it was uh, collected by the KGB, because this is a, a Russian author, and it was collected by the KGB, and it was prohibited to be published and it was like that for many years until appears in Switzerland in 1980 so um, this book has a history surround it I'm planning to do also a video about it so I'm not going to elongate too much because I don't really know too much because I haven't read it a lot of this I haven't read a lot so, uh, but yeah, I'm quite enjoying it and it's a chunky one. So now I'm going to talk about movies and TV series that I saw this month. I haven't watched it very, a lot of things. I just watched one movie and saw one series. So the movie that I saw was The Last Duel with Matt Damon and uh, Adam Driver. I don't remember the name of the actress. What is her name? Judy Comer. That's her name. So this is a book. This is a book. This is a movie that is in times of queens and kings. I don't know the year exactly, but the story is based on a true story. Uh, of a woman that a woman that denounces a man who rapes her and she wants to bring him to justice and her husband asks her this man for a duel to the death and the thing goes like this if the man dies she is right so th nothing happens to her if the man kills her husband that means that she was lying and I don't know what happened to her if that would happen I saw this at the beginning of the month so I don't remember very much the details but I don't remember much about the details but um, I think she will she would be imprisoned or something like that so that would be really strange, right? So it was like it was in the, the hands of God, you know? So 
God will decide who will, who will die in this duel. And if the man, if her husband dies, she is wrong. And she accused, me, accused him unjustly. If the, her husband killed the man, she was right. And so she was vindicted. So that's kind of strange, right? But that's how it was. I loved the cast. But I loved more Jolie Comer. I think she was perfect for the role. I really enjoyed her, her character. And so you think about it like in that time we are talking about, I think, between 1300 and uh, 1500s. So you to have an idea. So if it's difficult for a woman in this time to bring a man to justice for an accusation like that imagine in that time in this movie we also can see the way that women were treated she is interrogated the things that they would ask her are so absurd you know they were we have to to think at the time so with the knowledge that they have but still they would ask some things that was not scientific at all and they were so 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 absurd but you know and of course they were all men asking her <laughs> but yeah i'm not going to say what happens to her you have to watch the movie to see what happens to her uh, but yeah i think that's well, that was a quite interesting uh, movie then I saw, uh, the only series that I saw was the second season from The Great. That is a series about Catherine the Great from Russia. As the title of the, um, of the series says, this is a punctual true story. So it has a lot of uh, liberties from the creators. And it's brilliant. I love this series. I rewatched the first season last December because I have already seen it and loved it and then I rewatched it the first season so I could see with a fresher memory the second season and it was brilliant. The cast is on point, it's spectacular and the plot is so well made, <laughs> so funny, oh my god, it's incredible, I love this series. If you want to pass a good time and have a laugh, please go and watch this series. It's brilliant. So, yeah, that's all the, the, all, the only thing that I'm going to say. It's spectacular. It's, a, you know, about the life of Catherine the Great, her race to power, but in a way that's quite funny. <laughs> it's, it's amazing. So yeah, I think, I think that's it. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already. Leave a like, it helps a lot the divulgation of the video and the divulgation of the channel. Follow me on Instagram. I'll be posting there whenever I have a book review to do or anything else. And yeah, I think that's it. I hope you have enjoyed it and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!